Yeah, hey everyone, uh, welcome back to my Instapot cooking thing, and uh, it's it's been a while, and I'm kind of beefed out, so now it's time for chicken, and this is going to be chicken curry. It's actually based on my wife's recipe for chicken curry. In a crock pot, this would take about mm, five hours, four to five hours. In the Instapot, about half an hour. I know, hard to believe. But it's true. It's really good. So anyways, so if you like chicken, you're going to like this. Uh, here are the ingredients for this down here. Probably cover up some of my face. I have no idea. But this is what it is. So I got to look. Uh, so uh, basically about five chicken breasts. I had two packages. 1.5 uh, kilograms, about 3.3 pounds. One medium onion. One bulb of garlic, three cups of chicken broth. Now I'm doing this in order, right? One can of condensed cream of chicken soup. Uh, well, at least two tablespoons of curry powder. Uh, two tablespoons of cayenne pepper. Again, shaky, shaky. Three bell peppers. So, you know, red, green, yellow, whatever. Throw that in. Then afterwards, that's the main thing. Then afterwards, you want to do the rice. Two cups of basamatic, whatever it is, rice. I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's the best rice, in my opinion. And with that, three cups of chicken broth. Do that, you're good to go. I hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Bye. So, time to cook some Instant Pot curry chicken. First thing you need to do, add a little bit of oil to your Instant Pot. Not too much. Just throw a little bit in. Turn it on saute. And then throw in your cut up chicken, the chicken breast. So, again, approximately five chicken breasts. Here's a little hint, is that kind of freeze it a little bit. It's a lot easier to cut it when it's partially frozen, because otherwise it gets squidgy and it's really hard to cut. So just do that, and then throw it all in, and then you want to brown it. So you want it to turn white. After it's turned white, turn it off, and then throw it into a bowl. You don't need it right now, but keep the liquid, okay? Keep the liquid. So there's the liquid, that's cool. So now you add basically your onions, your peppers, your garlic. So throw that in. Just toss it in. Can be tricky, but get it in there. Now add some chicken broth, about three cups, basically a whole package of this. Stir it up. Now add your one can of condensed cream of chicken in there. Throw your chicken breasts that have been browned in there. Now also add some curry spice. Approximately two tablespoons, if not more. Shaky, shaky. Just go crazy with it. Uh, to me, the more the merrier. Don't go overboard. And same thing with cayenne, depends on how hot you like it. Again, shaky, shaky, approximately two tablespoons. Throw that in, stir it up. Now, seal it up, seal your Instapot up. And you want to, again, this is a shout out to my daughter, Lynn's, steaming off. You want to seal it. So you want to steal the venting. So that means seal it. So this way it will actually get up to pressure. Otherwise, it will go up and down, up and down. So you want to seal it. So steaming off, sealing it. I guess in the past, maybe I didn't make that apparent. So hopefully this is apparent now. Set to manual, high pressure for four minutes. That's it, just four minutes. Natural release for eight minutes. Once it hits eight, cancel it, right? Turn it off. And then vent it. Now, you should use a cloth. Don't do it with your fingers like I'm doing it. Vent it. And then wait for the pressure to drop so you can actually open the lid. Once it pops down, that means the pressure has been released. Open the lid. And then put it on saute. So, again, kind of like a frying pan, right? So, here's the thing. It's already done right now. But now you want to add your bell peppers. Again, there's three of them. Different colors. It doesn't matter. Whatever. So, throw that in. And just scoop it all in, stir it up, and then let it go. You want it to boil. It's on saute. You want it to boil. Once it gets boiling, after you, you're stirring it a little bit, you want it to get to boil. You don't want it to burn or anything, but stir it up. Then you turn it off. Once it's boiling, turn it off. Grab the lid. Again, turn venting so it's not venting. Steaming is off. So turn it to the off position. So it's turned off. It's just kind of steaming its own juice now. Leave that for Five minutes, okay? Five minutes. Now, chances are the pressure will actually increase, so you might have to release the pressure in order to open it. So release the pressure. Once it drops, open it up, steamy, stir it up, and then you're done. Basically, it's done. 
So your curry chicken is lovely, but there's another part. So scoop it into a container, pour all the goodness in. <clears throat> Remember, it's kind of like soupy, right? It's not like a, a stew, it's soupy. So don't waste anything. Pour it all in and then add two cups of rice, the basamak or whatever rice. Also, you have to have some juice with it, right? So I recommend three cups of chicken broth, pretty much a whole container. Stir it up, seal it. Again, when I say seal it, steamer is off. You're sealing everything, so to the right, so nothing is steaming. You put it on manual for four minutes. It actually takes longer to do the rice than it does to do the chicken. It's four minutes, manual high, and then 10 minutes, natural release. In which case, then you turn it off, you release the pressure. Again, you should use a cloth. Open it up, and there's your lovely rice to go with your curry chicken. You don't mix them together. They're separate. Then you can mix them together. You don't cook them together, right? So do that. Just scoop it out. Lovely rice. Great tasting, especially with the chicken broth. It helps, and you're good to go. Next week, special week, is going to be Cajun food. Jambalaya. Again, sticking with the chicken stuff, but more. Also gonna have some special guests. Ooh, imagine that. Anyways, eat well my friends. Cheers.